to you. Pharrell said blessings look like lessons from far away. And if you've ever felt far away from God, distant from God, but somehow found yourself praying again, praising again, thinking about him again, it's because God was working behind the scenes to bring you home again. It's refreshed quotes. Ananda Maima likened it to traveling and you're on your way back home. The closer you get, the more your mind is filled with thoughts of home, the more you can see yourself walking in that front door. You can sense the comfort of your bed, your bed, your sheets. And just like that, the closer you get to God, to the real comforter, the more peace you feel, the more joy you start feeling the louder love's voice is. Yogananda said he speaks, and the sound of his voice is so sweet the birds hush their singing, and the melody that he gave to me within my heart is ringing. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. He called me by name, and the joy we share as Ritari there, none other has ever known. Because there is none other. There are no others. There is nothing else but this. Appearing is all of that. Close your eyes and see this. Carl Jung said it is high time that we realize that it is pointless to praise the light and preach it if nobody can see it. It's much more needful to preach the art of seeing, the art of feeling. Right now, quickly scroll your memory and stop at the sweetest moment. From 2022. That moment didn't cause you to feel good. In that moment, you became aware of the cause. And that's what felt good. That moment, just like all the other ones, is the effect. And all this time, you've been trying to affect the effect. You focus on the effect. You play with it, you rearrange it, you try to manipulate it, you get angry with it, all while ignoring the cause. Refreshed quote said, maybe if we chased God as hard as we chase people, God would give us people we don't have to chase, opportunities we don't have to chase, because they're caused from this love. Seek ye first the kingdom, the cause, and all else will be added. Onto you. That memory you scrolled to a moment ago, scroll back to it and use it like a door into the kingdom, into the joy, into the cause, and turn to this love, affirm to this love. When I'm chanting, I'm chanting to the love. I'm talking to the love. I'm holding this love. Hold it where you are and tell it all things are being added. Because I'm filling you, I know all things are being added. You're filling love, and at the same time, you're knowing because of this love, all things are being added. And if you find yourself not knowing today, if you find yourself worrying, jumping ahead, lower your shoulders, release your stomach. And remember, now all things are being added. In this relief and this recognition, all things are being added. And if for some reason you can't feel that release of tension, you can't feel that inner click or this quiet joy, hear it. Hear that the silence is being added onto you interrupting that experience where it seems you can't feel God, and then you feel it again. If you can't feel it or hear it, pick up a book, hit play on a Good Mornings episode, take a walk. He's never far. You just think he is. 
your goal, your dream is not out of reach. You just think it is. That problem is not unsolvable. You just think it is. And so what must we do? We don't have to stop thinking. And the moment you hear silence, you're not thinking. You're causing. You're seeing that the lessons are blessings. Like Walt Whitman said, as for me, I know nothing else but miracles. Miracles everywhere. Affirm and keep affirming. My whole life has changed. My whole life has changed. Your whole life has changed. I love you. And we'll chat soon. If this episode helped you feel good, helped you feel God, then leave a review on Apple Podcasts and screenshot it and send it to me for a free gift. And follow me on Patreon so I can see you, so I can see your smile.